Hey everyone, it's uh, Bag of Hammers here. We're back on our 24 day uh, seasons map. The first day of early autumn, and uh, we have a little bit of harvesting to do. Our beans up here are ready to harvest, but I'm going to wait for them a bit till they dry out more so I can get a better yield. I have uh, arranged with a farmer. A local farmer to uh, to harvest his field and buy the crop in the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to actually harvest some of that. And I've pre-staged everything up here, ready to go. I bought a new trailer, a gravity box to be able to get some of the beans into the silo. And we're just going to get started here. So by uh, purchasing this uh, crop in the field, we're going to see if we actually make any money off it. I don't believe the farmer did a whole lot of fertilizing, so the yield is not going to be very high. And I know that this field was not planted either, or uh, plowed before it was was sown. So yeah, it could be uh, it could be a pretty low yield, and it might be a mistake doing it, but we'll try it anyways. see the cows are starting to get a little bit low on their power food that's not a big deal we'll uh, finish doing this and then we can feed them a little bit We've been working away uh, on our days off here, but we're not actually recording anything. We've cut some trees over by the sheep farm, and we're starting to chip those up and and selling the chips uh, to the small BGA. It's going to expand our uh, our grass fields for next season, for next summer. Uh, it should give us a whole lot more silage and hay that we can sell. Depending on how much we make on our silage bales that we've already got done during the winter, we may even move into purchasing a, uh, a silage harvester or a, a chaff harvester uh, with a, a mowing header on it, and we'll see what uh, what we can do with that. But that remains to be seen on how much money we actually make. Uh, if we're not making if we're not making enough money, we can't afford to do that. And before we do that, we'd also need to buy quite a few uh, more fields than we have at this time. We've uh, 
we've only got a few uh, fields that are, are done in grass. There's a lot of uh, usable grass around the map, but uh, it's not something that uh, we really own. It's just kind of there. We'll also have to cut a lot of trees before we were to do anything like that. And uh, since all those trees are hardwood trees, we have to turn them into wood chips and, uh, and make them uh, go away that way. So it would take uh, quite a bit longer to do that than it would be to cut a softwood forest and turn it into grass. As you can see, this is a fairly large field. I'm hoping to get at least 20,000 liters of, uh, of beans out of this field, uh, which I will then hold until the price goes up as much as possible before I sell them and we'll be watching the market quite closely I'm going to be uh, harvesting this field for quite a while, probably a couple hours. Uh, I'm not really going to make you guys watch that. I'll probably just uh, head out to it and show you something else. I've got a couple of new pieces of equipment that I also wanted to show you that I purchased to help me uh, dig down and uh, chip up uh, the hardwood trees that uh, we've been cutting around the map to make more grass fields available for us. So I'll take you over and show you that here in just a minute. I'm just going to finish this round. I'm going to open, empty the uh, the combine out, and then we'll take the truck and drive over, and I'll show you some of the newer equipment that we purchased. I got a larger uh, tree shredder, uh, chip maker. Uh, it's actually a tractor trailer size one, and uh, you just cut the trees down, cut them into a couple of pieces and throw them in and it does a wonderful job. Uh, one thing I didn't do before I purchased this uh, grain wagon was find out if it would fit underneath the, uh, the spout on this combine. I think it should be okay. I, I hope it should be okay. We'll see here in a second. On the ground. Oh, that could be an issue. <laughs> Great. I guess we'll have a cleanup to do on uh, on that aisle later. For now, we'll take you over and show you the newer newer equipment that I bought. And then we'll call this one an episode, and we'll, uh, we'll move on. Still waiting on these sunflowers to finish growing. I actually thought we'd have a growth stage at the first of autumn, but we didn't. So we're going to be waiting for at least 
eight more days before they're ready to harvest. I see we've got mostly sunshine uh, forecast for the next week anyways uh, with some cooler temperatures at night but not too too bad. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some, some other things harvested as well. We already had the tipper and the tractor trailer. We've purchased the beast, which is a, uh, a very large wood chip machine. It runs from the tractor trailer. I can get up on top of it here and kind of show you around a bit. Have to jump up this way. Okay. Here we have the chip bin that uh, make keeps the chips in a holding pattern until they can be transferred. I don't know exactly how much uh, it'll hold. I think it's actually around 100,000 liters. And these are our crushers. So you just basically drop your log in here, your tree, and it crushes up your chips. Got some lights uh, pointed down into it so we can see what we're doing at night. The other machine we bought is the tree handler and uh, it does a great job at picking up the logs. We don't have to cut them near or small. We just pick them up and, and fire them into the, uh, the chipper. We'll maybe just uh, show you that in action. Hey guys. Guys, I'm going to leave this episode about here. I've got lots of work to do. I'm going to do a whole bunch of harvesting. Try and get some of that uh, soybeans to market when the value gets up. The longer it takes me to harvest that field, the more it's going to cost me per liter as well. So we want to make sure we get that done as quick as possible. So anyways, that's uh, that's it for this episode. Have a good one. Uh, I'm going to be taking suggestions on uh, other games, maps that people would like to see me play. I know there's a lot of them out there and a lot of different maps. I'm going to uh, be working on this series for a while yet, but I thought I might try and get something else going uh, in the meantime. 
I've talked with a friend. We might be doing a multiplayer version of uh, uh, Upper River Valley, Mississippi Upper River Valley, uh, as a multiplayer. Uh, but I haven't mentioned to him about recording it for the channel. So we'll see if that might happen. And I'm not 100% sure. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.